I don't think it matters which one of these we buy. They're exactly the same, and they're both at full health. So, yeah, let's buy an AK. Boom. That means... Nothing else, nothing else, nothing else. You best be on your way. Are you okay? Welcome back, everybody, to 70s and I'm an old guy gaming. And in this episode, we are going to go open up trade routes for Tier 4 and uncover some new territory. Uh, we have just a smidge more to go on this last level. And once we get that, we will be able to uh, make the mini bike. We're going to do Horde 21. And then after that, we are going to move to the snowbound. So that is the plan. All right, I'm going to grab some stuff to take with us, just a little bit of food and water, because I'm not sure how, uh, you know, how long we'll be gone. And, uh, yeah, let's get started. So, hey, I want to make an announcement to everybody. Um, by the time you guys see this video, I will actually be in Nashville, Tennessee on business. I'm, I'm leaving uh, January the 31st, and I won't be back until the 10th of January. Uh, I'm sorry, this, I'm leaving. Let me, let's try that again. <laughs> I'm leaving December 31st, and it won't be back till the 10th of January, uh, late at night. So uh, I'm trying to pre-record as many episodes as possible to keep you guys in the episodes while I'm away. And I don't know if I'll have enough to have an episode out every single day, but uh, we, there should be enough to keep you going every other day for sure, and maybe maybe every day. Well, it just depends on how much more I can get done before I have to leave. Today is the uh, evening of the 27th. Um, so, yeah, we'll just see how that goes, but I just want to let you guys know that. Um, and yeah, so there we go. All right, let's head on down. Uh, this we're heading to the southwest. This is going to be area that we have not been to yet. Um, and let's take off our armor uh, so that we can move a little more quickly, or rather, you know, effectively we'll move more quickly because of the fact that I'll have more stamina. Uh, but yeah, we have not basically been in this area to date. This is as far south and west as we have been on our playthroughs so far. I wonder what messed up all that water over there. I don't know. So, yeah, let's uh, go. See, uh, we're we're going to go to Trader Hugh, uh, which is good. Trader Hugh is supposedly the trader that has the most of weapons. I think Trader Joel is supposed to do armor. Trader T Hugh does weapons. Trader Jen does medical and food. And Trader Wrecked does tools, but don't quote me on that. I'm not sure. Uh, but supposedly they they all can do, you know, they all kind of specialize or will have a, a larger stock of one particular type of, of or group of um, stuff, even though they can have all of it. Or so I have been told. All right. So this is a pretty big area, man. Uh, we still, we're still in... Um, this overall town wow you know we're not even we're not at the center of the map either the center of the map is going to be more here and here ish so yeah right about here's the center of the map so uh but this kind of feels a little bit like a hub city even though it's not right in the center they were not alive okay so we got 700 clicks that way uh, why don't we... We do have a highway here. Let's follow the highway. Yeah, because it looks like the highway is actually going to turn um, and head to the west a little bit. And, of course, we might as well do some hunting along the way. Oh, there's a chicken right there, too. Two chickens. Two, two chickens are better than one chicken. So yeah, tier uh, tier four is going to be interesting for sure. <laughs> I mean, tier three was hard enough, uh, but uh, you know the thing I really like about Alpha Twenty uh, is that we, you know, we can go back and do more uh, tier three and four later, right? Um, and the thing that's cool about that, um, and I don't know the way that it is now in Alpha Twenty, but in previous versions of the game. You know, you, you only had a handful of options in Tier 4 and even less options in Tier 5. Um, and so if you if you blaze through Tiers 2 and 3, which were the most interesting tiers, had the most variety of POIs, uh, you couldn't go back to them and do them as quests. I mean, you can always go back to them and just do them, but not as quests. So I'm really, I'm really uh, happy, you know, that we have that option now that we can 
uh, actually go back uh, and do lower tiers if we want to. So, there you go. Look at that shot. Nice, nice, nice. Just a ton of chickens and rabbits in the game now, too, which is good. <laughs> really good. I think I've, I've actually only kill, killed one deer to date, maybe two wolves. We attempted to kill the bear a couple episodes ago, and yeah, that didn't work out so well for us. Oh, good. I'm glad we're actually getting into the burned... Uh, wait. Well, I guess the burned biome and the, and the wastelands are one and the same now. That's right. I forgot about that. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay, we're going to have to be on our guard for buzzards. Oh, uh, yeah. I forgot about that. There is no longer just a burned biome. It's burned and wasteland. Hmm. Okay. Well, the good news about that is we're supposed to be able to get the best loot out of this place. But yeah, let's uh let me hop off here and just make sure everybody's fully loaded because we are going to get some vulture attention. It's pretty much guaranteed here. Oh, um I got a uh Are you going to aggro on me? What are you going to do? We got a bow zombo over there. Um I've got a magazine extender mod that we got somewhere and I've got that on the on little friend all right he's dead I don't know it's kind of really hard to shoot these guys on the wing but I guess we did it eh guess we did it okay so yeah the wasteland's supposed to be the best loot but man I don't I don't want to live in the wasteland the wasteland sucks you know what we are going to do, though, especially since the trader's not that far away, is let's get our armor back on, because I have a feeling we're probably going to need it. <laughs> I have a feeling we're going to need it. Okay, yeah, he's just right over there. Here, let's check the car, too, because why not? Maybe we'll get something good out of this car being its house in the wasteland, right? Or not. It was worth a try. Try and convince the game that's what we needed. All right, there's a dog. He was coming fast. Yeah, this uh, this lever action rifle, man, the spread on it's pretty bad. Of course, that's probably in part, maybe even in large part, due to the fact that I don't have any points in in sharpshooter yet, or whatever the hell the long dead eye. Yeah, I always forget what that's called, dead eye. Okay, where's your door at, homie? Let's keep checking these cars. You never know what you're gonna find in cars. Like glue, for example. Yeah, we're going to get some buzzard action. All right, come on. Test out our new pump shotgun. Uh, that's a big mama and a zombo bear. We don't want to mess with the zombo bear. Not too worried about big mama. She's tough, but we can take her. Right in the back of the noggin. And stay down. All right, we need that zombo bear to stay away from us, though. Let's point the bike in that direction. Hopefully there's no landmines leading to his door. Oh, is this place... This looks kind of torn down. Well, it's probably just because of the... Because it's the wasteland. Okay. Hey, Something buddy. Something you want to buy or try? Not bad. But not okay. great. Just let's, don't let this go to your head. Let's take a look at his inventory. Oh, he's got AKs. And we've got money. <laughs> I think we're going to buy ourselves an AK. I believe we are going to do that. Uh, we could get the grenade schematic, too. Just look and see what else he's got. 
All right, let's look at everything. Okay, yeah, let's get the AK from him. I'm gonna have to ask um, you to leave. Let's also raid him. He's the best trader to raid. He's got the most stuff, you know. Jars in there. He's got a turlet. Mini machine. Oh, they've really changed this place, haven't they? It's a bit different than it used to be. Purse on the counter. I hope it still has the munitions crates outside. Let's check this backpack. Okay, there's a box back here. Yeah, we're not taking that stuff. I'll take the plastic, I guess. Take that. I'm saving those up till we get a bunch of them and then we'll throw a vitamin back and then eat a bunch of chamois sandwiches. Actually not good for your health. Literally. It does take your health down, but as long as you're in a controlled environment, it's not that bad. I have yet to find a working crafting station in the world in Alpha 20. I'm starting to think maybe they don't exist. I don't know. But look at that ammo pile. Nice. Okay, let's go drop a couple things off at the bike because we are getting encumbered. we got to grab our coin from the bike, too, to get the AK. And then we will um, finish looting Trader Hugh here. Oh! Seriously? There's a landmine right there? Is that, like, a legit... Le oh! If we kill these pigs, can we harvest them? Or will they be protected? Military guy here. Can't get any headshots off on those guys. Okay, let's see. Can we, if we can harvest these guys? Ooh, we can. Look at that. Trader Hugh just provided some, some ham for us. What a nice feller. Okay, let's go into the towers and see if the munitions crates are still around. Um, I think we. Oh, the bear's out there. The one one of them's in here. Yep, it's still there. Nice. Let's open that up. That's pretty good stuff. Okay, and then the other one's going to be over on this end of the building. I did close the door, right? <laughs> hope so. I hope so. Oh, shit. I almost stepped on it again. Is that like a legit landmine? Let's see. Well... I'm going to say probably not, because you can't damage it, so hopefully that also means you can't trigger it. I'm not going to test that theory, though. All right, let's go up here and get the other munitions crate. All right, it's still there. Uh, we can open them a lot faster, too. Okay, we'll take all of that. And then the last thing to check is the... Uh, Kim bench. There's a Kim bench and a chest and I think a box down here if nothing's changed. And then we have a few more things inside to loot from him too. To steal from him. I mean loot from him. <laughs> we are a bit encumbered. Got a sandwich inside. Here's the Kim bench. Nice, 13 cornmeal is good. That's 13 cornbread. Here's the working stiff box with some more uh, stuff in it. That's good. 
And then there should be... Uh, I thought there was something up here, but maybe not. Yeah, we can't get up that way. Okay. Let's go back up. Uh, we should be able to jack his safe, and we might be able to get to that weapons rack that he has behind him, too. Oh, look at that. Wow. We are getting some good stuff, you guys. Holy cow. All right. Um, let's just make sure it is, in fact, better. Yeah, it's better, all right. Oh, that was a nice find. Okay, and it's yellow, which means we still have two mod slots, too. Uh, so we can still use both of these. Oh, that was a great find. Oh, man, look at that. We already got a steel sledge. Oh, I love it. Okay, can we get to this over here? Right there. Now, that's just a cabinet loot. We can't get to the actual stuff inside of it. Okay, that's fine. I mean, we've already robbed this guy pretty good. I don't think we went upstairs, did we? No, we did not. Look at it up here, man. It is so different now. This is cool. Trader Hugh for the win. Got a nice little pool table up here. I love it. What's back in here? Garment bag? Oh, we can't break that, actually. And we are maxed out. Wow, he's got lots of stuff to loot here. Look at that, man. We don't need it, but still really cool. Okay, uh, let's check a couple of things. We'll get rid of those two things. And some BDUs. Um, well, since we're here, we might as well just sell that stuff to him. This is really cool. I love it. Yeah, this is my... Obviously, my first time at Trader Hughes in Alpha 20. Let's go look over here really quick. It's got a couple couches. Oh, there's still some more cabinets over there, too, that we could check. Since, you know, we have plenty of space for stuff like that. Okay. Good enough. Let's sell a few things to him, buy one of his AKs, and we'll be on our way. No public bathrooms here, and don't be peeing on the floor. So you're not going to provide a place for me to go pee, and you don't want me to pee on the floor. What's up with that, dude? Okay. Let's take a look at your inventory. All right, we are going to sell you stuff. I'm going to sell you that and that. Um, um, Yeah, we might as well sell that. There's no reason not to. Sell that. Uh, I need to. I need to compare those with what I have. What else could we sell him now? Here, I'm going to sell him those two things, just to give us a little more room, you know. Um, robotics parts. We probably need those for the drone, so I think we're going to have to hang on to that. Here, you want some pipes? There you go. He bought all of them. How about that? This we're going to just get rid of. Okay. Now, um, I don't think it matters which one of these we buy. They're exactly the same, and they're both at full health. So, yeah, let's buy an AK. Boom. That means... There's nothing else, and else, and else. You best be on your way. Are you okay? <laughs> okay. Um... Let's go. Ah, oh, shit. I shouldn't have sold the pipes to him, huh? Eh, whatever. We're not talking about a ton of money. Um, let's put these on here. And this is now our new little friend. Say hello to him. Hello, little friend. Okay. <laughs> cool. Oh, man. This was a good, this was a good trip, you guys. We got the steel sledge. We got an AK. I just love it. Okay. Yeah, we don't need this anymore. Um, I, hmm, yeah, let's hang on to it. Let's hang on to it and fix it up and then sell it and make a little bit more money. That's uh, what I want to do. Either that or hang on to it so we have a backup. All right, so these BDUs are more interested in cold resist than heat. So that's 7.8, 6.6. 8. Yeah, these, actually, these BDUs that we already have are better in every way. So 
Uh, let's just sell these to him. Not that we're going to make a ton of money, but that's fine. Okay, good deal. All right, I think that's all we need to do at Trader Hugh. We're not going to take any and quests from him. For that. Um, we're not going to take any quests from him because he's too far away from our home base, as usual, right? And cool. So, yeah, this was a very productive trip. Very happy with uh, how it turned out. Now, where the hell is that bear at? Oh, he's right there. Shit. Um, what's in here? Oh, pipe. And, and some coal, which I really actually need. Where's little friend at? Let's repair you. R right now we would have sold it for 45. And now we can sell it for 109. I mean, I could kill the bear through here, but man, it's going to take a hell of a lot of ammo. We definitely don't want to go out there while he's out there. So yeah, that's kind of a sticky situation, isn't it? Well, let's go sell little friend to previous little friend back to Hugh again. And then we might have to just wait out that bear for a little bit. And your eyes got all messed up, didn't it, buddy? And, you know, you can close your mouth, too. You probably should. It's kind of rude, you know, keeping your mouth open like that. Uh, all right, so where's little friend at again? He's right here. Okay, goodbye, little friend. Was there something else? We got a new one. We got a new one now. Okay, well, shit, what do we do about the bear? <laughs> I mean, I suppose we either have to wait him out, um, or we try and draw him away from the door just long enough for us to get on the bike and get down the road a ways. All right, where is he at? Okay, he's kind of wandering off that way. Well, well, he was wandering off that way. I'm not sure I can get... I could probably get to the bike and get down the road before he got to us, but I'm going to run out of stamina fairly quickly because i got the armor on it and I don't want to take it off. Um, I suppose we could throw one of these back. And that'll give us a little bit of a stamina boost. Oh, shit, he got us. <laughs> oh, run, run. Oh, man. Holy crap, he almost took half our health down with heavy armor on. Damn. All right, hopefully we're far enough away from him now. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, man, that hurt. Ouch. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, let's get out of the wasteland. We are not really in a position to be doing much in this place at the moment. We will definitely be coming back here to check Trader Q when we need, you know, when we're looking for stuff, but we're not going to be doing operations in the wasteland. Ain't going to happen. No siree, Bob. All right, well, I'll see you guys back at the base, and then we'll figure out what the next move is here. All right, guys, we are back at the base, and uh, what we're actually going to do now is we're going to make ourselves a mini bike because we can. Uh, so let's get her done. Um, what are we going to need for that? We're going to need stuff. So I have in here, I already have two wheels. Uh, we've Well, three, actually, because we looted those. So we have an engine. We know we're going to need that. We're going to need a battery. It doesn't matter what the quality is on that. Uh, we're going to need mechanical parts. We're going to need electrical parts. We're, I, th I believe we're going to need one headlight probably some duct tape and some iron and just trying to remember what all we need for that. Maybe some pipes for the handlebars and some springs. All right, let's see if we have everything we need. If not, we'll, we'll get uh, what we do need. Uh, all right, so let's go mini bike here. Uh, mini bike chassis. Uh, wait a minute. I thought, uh, wait, didn't I unlock that? Oh, I didn't actually unlock it. Okay, so let's go to intellect. A Grease Monkey version 2. Boom. There we go. All right. So we can make the handlebars. Let's get those going. What are we missing for the chassis? Oh, we need leather for the chassis. Not a problem. We got lots of leather. And we'll get that crapping up too. And like I said, we already got the wheels. So we're just going to need the wheels, battery, and the motor. Um, and we have all of that stuff. Wheels, battery, motor. And we're golden. Okay. 
So let's see. It is um, it is seventeen hundred hours. So it's um, almost five thirty in the afternoon. But I think once we have the mini bike, we can probably be out at night and be okay. Um, relatively speaking, um, I have a, a quite a bit of gasoline already just from wrenching cars, and we really need to be thinking about putting at least a few points into salvage operations at some point. Um, so, you know, that is on the list of things to do, too. But uh, for now, I mean, we're just going to have to wrench without salvage operations uh, perks. Um, you know, that's because we don't really have a choice. Uh, we don't have the ability yet to make gasoline. Well, we kind of do. I mean, we do. We have this uh, chem bench that we that we got as a reward for the end of tier four or the end of tier three. But I'm not even setting this up here because we're moving. Um, and we also can make uh, the gas cans too because we find the schematic. So it's really a matter of finding a desert to get some oil shell uh, to start making that. But I haven't haven't come across a desert yet in this playthrough. Plus, uh, we're going to be snow biome uh, living, which actually is something I've never done ex with one exception. And that was I actually did a short series in Alpha 18 right before 19 came out. In fact... Uh, 19 came out, and I so I stopped the 18 series prematurely because 19 came out. Um, but anyway, where I did an all snow biome, I set up an all snow biome map using nitrogen, and um, we got you know we got I don't know 30 episodes into it. It was fun, uh, but all that to say, uh, other than that one kind of special uh, series that I did, I haven't ever you know lived in the snow biome before, so uh, it'll be interesting to do that here in the normal series. Uh, but we do uh, need to find a desert at some point so that we can get the oil shale from there, too. All right, how are we doing on our mini bike? We got the handlebars done. Uh, we're about 20 seconds out on the chassis, and then we'll be able to make this thing. Um, let's go ahead and grab the gas, too. Now, for ourselves, we have we now have a puffer coat, and I placed the insulated liner, liner mod rather on my chest piece. We've got a sweatshirt on. And uh, the BDUs are not uh, too bad. With They have some cold resistance. So I'm thinking with all of that, we'll probably be okay. But the other thing we can do if, if we do get into trouble is we can bring some coffee with us too, and that'll help keep us warm. Um, and uh, so does actually yucca juice smoothies too, for that matter. Okay, so let's grab those. And there we go. And then we should be able to make the actual mini bike. That'll take a minute and 20 seconds. Not bad. And what I think we're going to do for the rest of this episode, um, and maybe depending upon how our time goes, uh, the beginning of the next episode, we're going to go, uh, we're going to drive to the snowbound and we're going to start looking around for our permanent base location. I haven't decided, sorry, my nose is a little bit runny today. Um, so I apologize for all the sniffling and all that. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, we're going to, um, I'm going to take this meat with me actually no let's save that i like to save this for mining because it gives us the stamina bonus why don't we take we've got so many uh, so much canned food which is a great thing uh, let's take some lamb cuts with us uh oh i know what else i was gonna do we can make some more bacon and eggs too let's get that going i was going to do a comparison with corn on the cob versus corn bread uh, let's look at that for a second. So let's make a corn on the cob. We're going to need uh, some of this. So we'll cook one of those. And do I have any cornbread left in here? I don't. Uh, oh, well, we've got we've got cornmeal, though. So, yeah, we might as well turn all of that into cornbread. And let's just do a quick comparison here because here's the thing. The cornbread... All right. This gives us 10 food... And ten and five health, and the stamina bonus. Why? Why would we lose water eating corn on the cob? That doesn't make sense. I understand why we would lose it eating the cornbread because it's kind of dry, but for corn on the cob, that doesn't make sense to me. Corn on the cob is juicy. <laughs> um. Okay. Well, anyway, if we compare these two, right? They have exactly the same stats, but the cornbread requires an extra step because first you have to turn the corn into cornmeal. So it seems to me like there's no point in making cornbread for the sake of making cornbread itself. Now, if I need to make it for a higher level recipe, that's a whole different story. But I mean, if we're just going to eat them straight up, um, corn on the cob is, is definitely 
the better way to do it. So if moving forward, um, I'm just going to make straight up corn on the cob and not bother with the cornbread. Now, I already had this corn meal, so it does make sense, of course, to make it uh, because I already had it. But, uh, you know, if I hadn't already had it is what I'm trying to say. Uh, okay, cool. So um, I was watching um, somebody else, uh, another YouTuber, uh, video, and they were saying, you know, they just said I'm going to make corn on the cob and not... Oh, we're starting to run out of water here. That's okay. We're, we're not going to stay here much longer anyway. Um... And I was thinking, well, how come he's not making cornbread? And then I figured, well, I should probably look at that because maybe that's the deal. And that is the deal. So, okay. There we go. Uh, we need to put a little more fuel on the fire. Let's turn all of these into boiled waters. And then we'll finish these up and then I'll make some more uh, corn on the cob later. Let's eat this right now because we do need a little more food. Oh, we were going to make bacon and eggs too. So, yeah. Let's make four of those. We'll put all that stuff back there. And I just want to make sure I have enough. So we need 4, 16, 17, about 18 minutes of burn time. We'll just make it 20. That way everything gets done. Okay, cool. So we're finished with that. Um, our mini bike should be done, which it is. Look at that. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, we can color our mini bike now too. So let's grab... Uh, let's make it blue. Because we can. Let's make it blue because we can. Are you doing anything? No, nope. I don't want to heat the place up too much, so I think we're good to go. Did I grab the gasoline? I did. Okay, we got food, we got water, we got medical. Um, yeah, I think we're ready to set out. Okay, let's do it. So, guys, just to keep um, things from this video from getting too terribly long, uh, I'm going to just meet you over at... Uh, let's take this money with us, too. Uh, I'm going to meet you over at the... Uh, the snow area. So basically, um, up here. So there's a town right up in this area. So once we get to that town, I'll bring you back and then we'll start looking uh, for a possible place for us to live. All right, guys, I have some good news. Um, I just found Trader Rex here in the snow biome. Um, and it is crazy out here. You know, I've got feral scents turned on at night and Zombo's uh, aggro on us from like half a mile away, it seems. And then they just keep coming so i haven't really had a chance to stop and look at anything um but i did yeah see they're coming after me but you can see that i went down this highway kind of came back around here and we got this little town area here but more importantly we have a trader wrecked here which is great because you know then we can use that as our questing hub uh even though wrecked himself is an asshole but that's okay we don't care about that uh so yeah more than likely this will be the city that we will uh, the town that we will settle in. I haven't had any problems at all with temperature, so I think we got that taken care of with the clothing that we currently have on. So it's really just going to be a matter of deciding uh, where we want to live. Now, it would probably be a good idea for us to either A, build our own base from scratch, uh, or B, maybe try and find a remnant, um, you know, POI that we could fix up. Because if we... If we use a, you know, a potential questable POI, then, you know, we might get a quest there, of course, and not be able to to do it or either screw up our base, which, of course, we don't want to do. Uh, incidentally, I've seen probably at least a dozen. Holy shit, how do we get hit there? At least a dozen mountain lions since I've been in here, and we've seen about four dire wolves, tons of rabbits and chickens, uh, a buck deer, and that's why the snow biome is such a great place for hunting, and it makes me... It kind of reinforces my plan to, um, you know, to spec into hunting, which is something I've never done, really never done before for all intents and purposes. That doesn't mean we won't do a garden at some point in the future, but uh, if we do, it'll probably be really late game when I have extra points to spend, um, because I think it'll kind of fit with our our theme of you know living in the in the snow biome and and taking advantage of, you know, the, the awesome hunting opportunities or better hunt, hunting opportunities, I should say, that it does provide. Uh, so what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm just going to, you know, kind of drive around. I might not be able to do a whole lot in the way of stopping until, you know, morning because, um, you know, these zombos are just relentless. Uh, but, you know, just trying to try to decide what we want to do in terms of where we want to live. I'd kind of like to live pretty close to, to the trader, actually, now that I think about it, because that makes sense, of course. 
Um, so I'm either going to be looking at uh, POI near Trader Wrecked or maybe some land just right outside of town next to him that we can build our own base. Uh, but this is his place right here. So, yeah, I'll be looking at that. And then when I bring you guys back in the next episode, the next, you know, or actually today now is day 21. So uh, we will, of course, be doing the horde. Um, so that's coming up. Uh, but I'd like to, you know, have a base, at least a base location figured out before I leave and head back uh, to our original town to do Horde 21. I, I did bring, I after I left you guys or cut the camera, I did go back to the base and actually load it up on some stuff. So my mini bike is full uh, because I figured if I'm going to come all out the way out here, I might as well bring a load of things with me. Um, so yeah, I did that. And uh, yeah, so I will see you guys in the next episode. Uh, we will do Horde 21, and hopefully we will have our snow base location figured out by then, too. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.